All right, back into the Unicorn test server. And the very fact that I made videos about the test server recently uh, virtually guaranteed that the stuff I featured was going to be changed. I mean, to be honest, that happens every single time there's a test phase. But the previous videos I um, featured the Amalgamation, which is a new pet replacing Jersey Devil on Tier 5. Since those videos, the ability has been completely changed. It is still a summon support unit, but it has a few more uses now. But on top of that, the artwork has changed, and you can see it now. It uh, kind of has this um, pose where it's rearing up on the hind legs. Um, it's similar to the previous one, but yeah, a bit more dynamic, I guess. I, I can't decide which one I prefer. Either way, we bring it into the team now. We don't really have any summon pets for it to work with, but that's fine, we'll pick them up as we go. So the previous ability gave stats to summoned units based on how many level threes you had in your team. So it was kind of like a sideways move from Jersey Devil. This one is very different. It gives attack, mana, and spooked to any unit that is summoned. And that means you can use it in a variety of different ways. You can obviously use it to just buff the attack on summons. Um, for instance, um, if we have an Easter egg, then Monty is going to get a little bit of extra attack boost, which gets converted into a higher overall value because um, of Monty doubling the damage. And you can see there, yeah, it does apply Spooked, which means that it's going to work with the new Mothman, which ends up uh, gaining temporary stats based on um, ailments being gained by any pet. It also means that you can just use uh, ab um, Amalgamation plus Unicorn to uh, buff units that come into the team. So uh, if we had a unicorn on the squad, obviously it would the summoned units would be getting plus two attack from the amalgamation, but then also plus two two as the unicorn heals the spooked. So we'll take the level up here, and we're actually going to try and look for some uh, summoning units uh, to actually work with the ability. So we get the phoenix, and we'll just move um, uh, amalgamation back. I do think it would be nice to have some more summoning options on the lower tiers uh, so that you could kind of have more uh, units ready to go when you actually find uh, the amalgamation. Especially since, um, I mean, as good as Monty is, the Easter eggs get uh, overwritten by ailments an awful lot of the time. So yeah, that, that would be on my personal wish list. But we do find a unicorn here, so we're going to try and um, make use of it. So we'll bring in the red dragon, it gets the buffs from the amalgamation, and then the unicorn heals it. And we'll just take Ambrosia to cover over the spooked. I think normally I would rather run unicorn with gingerbread so that we can get buffs in the shop, but then reset the triggers for the battle. But in this case, the goal for this team was to play unicorn plus amalgamation, basically like a turkey. So the idea is that the summoned units are going to get buffed by both the Amalgamation and the uh, Unicorn in battle. Now here we end up facing one of the broken teams that's currently terrorizing the test server. So the new mana generating tier 1 unit gets fed and then all the mana gets transferred to Kitsune. Um, pretty busted combo and um, I'm sure it will get uh, patched out before this goes live. I'll, I'll have some extra clips relating to that build at the very end because of course I did try it myself, and that is one of the problems of the test server is that you, once a broken combo gets discovered, you do tend to see a lot of people running it, um, which uh, obviously makes it much harder to test anything else. So uh, that being said, I did manage to create a bunch of different uh, varied teams. So, you know, it's not quite as bad as I'm making out. But here you can see, yeah, the, the Easter egg gets overwritten by um, an ailment there, uh, not surprising. Although I think we might be okay in the end here anyway, just by sheer virtue of the amount of mana generated by all the um, uh, the amalgamation uh, buffs. So although we sold Tiger Bug, we actually end up getting another one here from the Griffin. And what am I going to do? I'm, I guess I'm deciding whether or not I want to take it because I would rather have a, a different unit having already sold the Tiger Bug, but maybe we could just... Um, uh, use uh, Water of Youth or uh, Compato on it later on. Now something I've noticed doing this is that the 
mana does not stack if you combine two units together. So if we bought uh, the second red dragon there and then combine them together, I believe it just takes the highest mana value. You don't get the, the total of the two of them. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the way it should work or not. I guess really that wasn't a big issue before. But given that the amalgamation kind of encourages these mini pivots, um, maybe that's something that could be looked at. Now, another team with uh, the uh, new tier one that uh, generates mana. And this could well be one of my own teams because for a couple of days, that was all I was playing, trying to win with just three of those tier ones. Uh, I'm not sure if I ended up getting that recording or not. I think, uh, yeah, we are going to take the level up here. It would be nice to replace the spooked on the Phoenix. Actually, I don't know why I'm playing Phoenix up front when I've got the Easter egg behind it. Really, I should uh, play it a bit further back. I'm sure I'm going to correct that in a minute. Although luckily here, the uh, Easter egg does survive. But I think you can see the, the difference it makes having both the Amalgamation and the Unicorn buffing the summon pets. Uh, although the buffs from the Unicorn are technically permanent, they're not permanent on the tokens because, uh, you know, they're gone by the next turn. So yeah, we'll move Phoenix back now. Yeah, that definitely makes a lot more sense. And then probably just give the Red Dragon some extra attack since it's um, first uh, into the fray. Yeah, here's another one of these teams with um, uh, Pengobble, <laughs> which is a bizarre name for the new tier one, and Kitsune. A lot of the changes uh, recently have involved reducing the number of snipes. And uh, the fact that Ambrosia exists now as well makes it very, very easy for those Kitsune teams to basically guarantee that the um, Kamira is going to get all the mana. But bizarrely here, it ends up being a tie. And I think that's purely based on the strength of the, the mana damage that was being applied from the level three um, amalgamation. Okay, we get the Easter egg. So we're down to only having one pet on our own team that already has an ailment. I think, I guess we would just be looking for Ambrosia here. Now Sea Serpent um, ends up deleting two of our biggest units. We get three summons in their place. And actually I think, yeah, we are going to end up winning anyway. So and that was quite surprising to me. I did think that we were done for as soon as I saw that uh, Sea Serpent, but no. So we'll take the level on the Unicorn. That means we should be able to buff um, both Montes and then potentially either the Monty or the uh, Young Phoenix. Very traditional looking uh, jump team. I've seen quite a few of these where uh, it's the exact same lineup as you expect from the live server, except everything has um, Ambrosia to protect it <laughs> from uh, from ailments and snipes. I can't remember exactly what happens here. I think we should win. Yeah, we should be okay. The, the fact that Frogman doesn't give, um, it only gives plus one, plus two, instead of uh, plus two, plus two, I think it does make a big difference. Probably in the old version we would have... Uh, Struggled there. Yeah, I'm going to freeze the Phoenix in case we can find something better to replace the um, the uh, spooked on the amalgamation. And then we face this team that has nothing but ailment pets. Everything is going to get covered with crisp. The Manticore is going to kill off our entire squad. And I think everything on their side gets deleted except for a single young Phoenix at the back. I think probably Phoenix is one of the units that hasn't been touched yet, but uh, probably needs a little bit of adjustment. There are a few other units like that, but I think Phoenix is one of the, the strongest pets in the Unicorn pack, especially outside of it. Um, I think it often ends up dominating quite a lot of weekly packs. So we upgrade to Mushroom, which guarantees that the Mushroom is going to get overwritten by um, an ailment. And of course, the opposing team here has 100-100 Behemoth, plus a phoenix in the middle. And yes, the mushroom gets overwritten. The question is, can we whittle down the behemoth? And I think at 100, 100, it's probably asking a little bit too much. It's actually gonna be incredibly close. So I think if we had one more summon there, we would have been okay. But uh, yeah, not to be. But that was a fun team anyway. So here's a bunch of other random clips from the test server showing some of the new stuff in action. So here's one of these. Um, Kamira Kitsune teams like I was talking about. Uh, not quite um, 
as powerful in terms of the amount of mana that they were um, handing out. But look at this, with <laughs> they end up getting 38 mana onto that uh, amalgamation at the end and we barely scraped the win. I think if the uh, mana snipe went the other way, that was a tie. Here's one playing with the new question mark unit, um, which I st I'm still not sure what I'm supposed to call that. But uh, yeah, it's the new tier one that applies Spooked at the end of turn to enable the uh, healing pets. You can also see the new animation here for the Cerberus. Uh, the summons from things like um, Fly uh, are changed as well. So they kind of jump out like that. I guess it makes it clearer which pet is actually doing in the summoning. Then next clip. Okay, here's my version of this um, Pengobble plus Chimera Kitsune team. We've got Sneaky Egg at the back, whose sole responsibility is to feint and instantly transfer the mana to the Chimera. So I think it's very, very difficult for the opposing team to prevent that from happening. Um, and a, a, as soon as you put um, Ambrosia on the Chimera as well, it's only going to get stronger. So yeah, not surprising that was a win there. Next one, we've got another amalgamation team, this time with uh, Triple Nessie. And um, Nessie's had the cap removed. I think, I can't imagine that's going to stay. But this opposing team is very amusing. Someone actually posted a screen cap of it in the official Discord because it was so clever. This was a double Chimera and uh, using um, the uh, uh, Fairy Dust in order to manipulate the order and get the uh, Kitsune to, to transfer mana to two separate Chimeras. So incredibly creative team there, even if it was kind of a play on a broken combo. And then this one is one that uh, I, uh, yeah, Abomination, I think it's very funny, the new version where you can, um, you can swallow basically any unit you want. And my sole purpose for this run was trying to get an Abomination round where it summoned, where it swallowed Sea Serpent and Pen Gobble at the same time. So that means that when it gets hit by the uh, mana buffs from the rock, it's going to gain extra mana, which gives its own Sea Serpent extra mana to spend on Faint. And um, I played a few attempts trying to get this going. You know, a lot of the Abomination stuff is just that pure RNG where you're hoping to find uh, certain things in the shop. Unfortunately here it gives us an opponent where the, the ability just doesn't matter at all because the Sea Serpent wipes the floor with the opposing team. And we we'll might as well just show the final round here. So I'm going to freeze some of these other units. I actually don't think Hydra makes any sense at all because the Abomination only has nine attack. So it's not actually going to summon anything. Yeah, we swallow the Hydra, but yeah, it's not going to do anything. That was just a silly mistake on my part. But level three Sea Serpent is just going to carry again, I think. We're just going to delete a bunch of units and they only have the visitor left. So yeah, the link is in the description if you want to give the test server a try while it's still up. It's always fun playing with units that uh, maybe only have a very short shelf life, but it can also be quite satisfying sending in feedback and uh, trying to shape the game for the future.